morning everybody or whatever time you're watching this today is friday december 29th or something like that i think it's the 29th today i'm retesting my one rep maxes and i'm so excited about it and i'm trying to just like see where i'm at right now i'm four weeks out from my, my competition and um my coach just wants to see where my strength is at I'm always one step behind Wishing I could read your mind But I'm ready Yeah, never ready I, I wish I could have made it stop The first time that you stood me up I wasn't ready Yeah, never ready Like a forbidden I haven't retested my one rep maxes since April of 2016 so it's been like a long time since I retested anything I broke my wrist in April late April of 2016 I was finishing my bikini prep I did not touch a barbell for a solid like eight to nine weeks after I broke my wrist and I was finishing my prep once I started my powerlifting program I've just been moving up in weight and I haven't really gotten up to like a peak high intensity um, high weight uh, training style for a while and this is my first time testing before the meet and my coach wants me to feel that heavy weight on my back and feel how it feels to hit numbers really close to what I'm going to be doing in my competition. squats and with my squat this prep I progressed pretty quickly and it's been absolutely amazing and really fun because my body is just like built for a squat I have like big legs and they're powerful I've really honed in on my form this year as well so moving really really well it was really clean all my reps were good um, there wasn't really any sticking point in any of my reps until I got to this set my last set at 240 pounds and that 240 pounds is a conservative max which means that I definitely had a little bit more in the tank but I didn't want to like jump too far ahead and I wanted to just keep my confidence high make sure I hit the numbers and kind of just stop it there When it comes 
to the bench press, I have never tested my one rep max for that. When I was competing, I didn't really bench. It just wasn't something that I necessarily needed to do. I was doing a lot of overhead press for like bodybuilding stuff, but bench press is something I've been doing strictly for competition purposes. So I didn't really know where I was at and everything was feeling really good and I kind of just kept adding weight. I kind of just kept adding weight and then doing sets of one every time I added weight just to conserve my strength for that one rep max. but also be able to kind of acclimate my body to those higher amounts of weight. 110 is something I'm really proud of. I've never hit a one rep max for bench, so that's something that's kind of like a conservative max as well. The number one thing that I'm gonna be focusing on for the next few weeks with bench is to pause at the bottom of my rep because I'm doing, I am competing in the USAPL. They are a little bit more strict when it, a lot more strict when it comes to form and then listening to the cues when you're benching. You have to pause at the bottom. So that's something that I'm gonna be focusing on. Moving on to deadlifts. Deadlifts are something that it's not really a mental lift for me. It's really just me being patient. So I'm really slow off the floor when it comes to deadlifts. Um, and I know that. So knowing that it's going to be a slow lift, I just have to mentally remind myself that it's going to be okay. It's going to get off the floor. It's not going to be like a jerking it off the floor, but it's going to come up and all I have to do is lock out at the end of the day. So one of the main cues that really helps me with deadlifts is to think about your back and your legs as a dial. So someone told me once to think of your back as a dial. So you're turning on the dial all the way in your upper body and squeezing your lats and packing your shoulders really, really tightly into your body. And then once that dial is already 100% and then you kind of turn the leg dial on and you slowly turn the leg dial on and then lock out at the top and then turn that dial all the way. So that's a really good helpful cue for me because I struggle to keep my upper body packed tightly when it comes to the heavier lifts. PR for me for deadlifts because um, in the past I've deadlifted like 260 pounds and that's kind of something that I'm hoping to get but my deadlift hasn't shot up the way my squat has this prep but something that we're focusing on so um, this day I was not deloaded which means that usually before a meet you take a week and lower your percentages lower your intensity lower your reps in order for your body to recover and then by the time your meet day comes you're all refreshed and fully ready to go and this day I wasn't so me hitting these numbers without even being deloaded is something that I am really happy about <sighs> alrighty guys I just finished my retest day, I feel absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next clip. I have a little bit of other stuff going on today that I'll show you guys. I'm gonna drive home. I'll catch you guys there. We're back with Mr. Tuning the Whoa. Elder here. What's going yeah. on? We just finished up his podcast for his interview for my podcast. Yeah, I was the interviewee this time. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that like weird? It's the first time, yeah. You're just like, oh my god, you want to interview me? <laughs> <laughs> you have a good story. We, we talked for 55 whole minutes, so yeah. that'll be good. It'll she can't good. get me to shut up. Yeah. Well, you're here for a few more days. Maybe we'll see each other again. Yeah, I would love to get another workout in or something. Uh, we Maybe leave Sunday? On Tuesday. Um, or Monday. Sunday or Monday. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe you can work out or food or something like that. I mean, food, yes, of course. Food also. Or donuts. Maybe some donuts. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks for being on the podcast. Yeah, no, thank you so, so much. So excited for about it. I'm going to steal her setup. It's a great. Oh, yeah. So we got um, the H6 Handy Dandy. It doesn't say handy dandy. Emphasis on the dandy. It says handy recorder, zoom recorder. And then we got two microphones here, and it just sounds really nice. Is it that does. What you said? Sounds really good, yeah. In comparison to what do you have? 
Uh, so I just use, use I have travel condenser mics that I hook up to GarageBand and just record straight onto the laptop. Right. And record it there, edit there. But uh, this is, it sounds great. I love the. And this the comes with like a memory travel. card. Yeah, it's super yeah. easy just bringing this thing. It's I like mean, pretty cool. You probably bring your laptop cool. when you travel anyway, but yeah. it's just bringing it just like wherever you go. Anyway, yeah. thanks, Chase. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'll see you guys next time. Are you, did you have your bags? I do. I'm outside. Okay, I'm I'm walking out of, what door is this? I see you. Keep walking. <laughs>